Football Friday, baby. It's a just for fun Friday this morning on Rising. The NFL season is officially underway. Perfect time of year to get outside and let's just say tailgate. Yes. <laughs> you know, everyone's been waiting for this, right, year round. Well, this morning we're joined by DJ Corbin. He's the managing partner at the Fort Myers Longhorn Steakhouse to show us how it's done. And this smells so good because, guys, we're talking about apple cider baby back That's ribs. Just, yeah, this is just not fair right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my name is DJ Corbin. I'm the manager partner at Longhorn Steakhouse of Fort Myers. I'm gonna show you how to make our brand new apple cider barbecue baby back ribs. Oh my goodness. It's showcased on our chef showcase for the fall season. So it just actually rolled out on Monday. Okay, perfect nice. Perfect for the NFL season. So awesome. you already got some searing up here. Mm -hmm. So like if, if someone's at home, how do they get started? Okay, the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna get a full rack of ribs. Okay. And to get a full rack of ribs, you wanna make sure you cut them in half. Okay. Because it's gonna be easier to deal with on the grill. Yeah. Okay. When you do that, you wanna place it bone side down in the pan. And the reason why you put it bone side down in the pan is because when it, the bone will get hot first. You know? Okay. So we're going to generously Yes, we've it. learned that. We like that. The Longhorn Way is generous. big and bold flavor. <laughs> big and bold flavor. So Don't when you shy. spread it, when you spread it around, this is Longhorn's secret rib seasoning. We can't give up the So at home, what, like garlic, salt, pepper? Mm -hmm. The big four. The garlic, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, and don't forget about onion powder. Onion, onion powder, powder. Adds that little bit of a kick without mm -hmm. cayenne. And of course, we have the recipe up for you on the, um, uh, here on the screen, but we'll, all, we'll also put it on our website for you, too. Mm -hmm. okay. And so what we're going to do is we want to take one bottle or one cup of apple cider. Okay? okay. And hard apple cider is the way to go because the alcohol does cook out of it and it adds a little bit of a different flavor than just using regular apple cider. Apple cider, not apple cider vinegar, like yeah. apple cider, the, the drink. Yeah, okay. exactly. Because like the vinegar, it will take a different flavor to it. Right. And when we add the barbecue sauce, there's vinegar already in the barbecue okay. sauce. Okay. Okay. The most important thing that you want to make sure that you do when you do braise your ribs, yeah. you want to cover it tightly. And the reason why you're wanting to cover it tightly is the steam is what makes it the long horn way. And okay. that's fall off the bone. Nice. And that's what we want when we have ribs. I right? like that way too. So, <laughs> so after you do that, you want to make sure you cook it in the oven around 325. Mm -hmm. And we're looking around two and a half hours to three hours, depending on your oven. Okay. Um, and when you, after you cook them, make sure that they're tender enough they're almost coming off the bone don't tear it off the bone but kind of fill it yeah and then you want to chill it for at least an hour in your fridge okay in my opinion on a tailgating party and you're doing a bunch of ribs what you want to do is cook it the night before oh. and then just let it chill the whole night and nice. then it'll be ready to go all right so we only got about a minute left so what are okay. all these fun things going on over okay, here so, oh. Woo! I caught it yeah. look at that <laughs> nice catch, okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two cups of barbecue sauce okay Two ounces of uh, apple liqueur. Okay. Mm. Two cups. I smell that. I mean, two ounces of apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Got a it. Pinch of cinnamon. Oh, mm. I like the cinnamon. A pinch of onion powder. Okay. That just says fall, right? And fall football, all over this. Mm -hmm. I like that. And a good, generous portion of garlic powder. Uh -huh. okay. What we do is we're gonna mix, mix it, it up. up. And this is what a barbecue sauce or a glaze? Awesome. This is our barbecue okay. sauce. Okay. And this is a glaze. And what you want to do is I already ha already had. The ribs started. Sure. And what you want to do is you do want to start it bone side down, but I already had it starting. And if you can see, that char mark is what you were looking for because okay. it has that char flavor to it. So you always get do worried this. you're not going to get the inside cooked. You right. know, I always end up burning things that and the, way. And the reason, the reason is, ladies, that you start it bone side down. And when you start it bone side down, it heats the bone first before that sizzle. That sounds oh, good. I love that. Um, so the, the reason why you want to add it bone side down is it heats the bone before the meat, so you're not overcooking the meat. No, oh, that's so, smart. Mm -hmm. And then you flip it over to get the char mark off that. Okay. And then, so you could do this on the grill at home or on, mm -hmm. what do you call this, a griddle? Yeah, this okay. is like yeah. a grill pan. You can okay. buy it anywhere, Walmart or Publix. Okay. But um, when you do it on the grill, just make sure that you're oiling the pan or oiling the grill grates. And well, that smells so good. I know. You don't want to <laughs> Let me get a little all. bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, wow. And you smell it. It smells like apple cider. It smells fantastic. That is awesome. Well, what a perfect way to kick off your tailgate party, right? I know. I love yeah. this. What kind of drink would you pair with this? I mean, um, even for non-alcoholic. Any ideas? Um, what I would say on any kind of drink like this is, of course, the apple cider I beer know. is going to go with it. Yeah. yeah. But any type of beer. And um, if you're going to drink wine, you want to drink a dark wine, not a light wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, any alcohol at a tailgating party is always good to get. Yeah, yeah we like to have a little fun, right? <laughs> DJ, fantastic job. Ironically, our producers are just running oh, into the I know. Studio. Everyone's in the studio all of a sudden. There's everything going on. Yeah. In, right? yeah. We like to bring the family together. Exactly. Right? That exactly. does it. Thank Yesterday you for doing it was that. filet mignon. Today it's ribs. And once again, I say jealous. Jamie, you wish you were.